four missing oil rig crew of Kuala Barang rescued. The four oil and gas crew who went missing after their ship sank in the waters of Kuala Barang in Miri, Sarawak have been rescued. Malaysian Maritime Enforcement Agency MMEA Director General Admiral Datuk Muhammad Zubil Matsom said all missing crew were found safe about 9 a.m. from the location where the incident was reported. Hence, 124 of the vessel went to the location and detected the workboat sinking with 62 crew still on board while 125 others had jumped into the sea. Several assets comprising three vessels and a maritime Malaysia boat as well as seven vessels and a boat belonging to Petronas and Shell were dispatched to the location. Here we go. Good evening. The news tonight is brought to you live from Penampang, Sabah. In Kota Kinabalu today, Sabah recorded 927 new COVID cases and seven fatalities, bringing the cumulative positive cases to 12,745. The state also registered a new cluster in Kutat, namely Kapro Cluster, with 46 cases. The public are constantly reminded, reminded to stay at home. In Balu, Rana Trela lost evacuations in Southern California and, two, and left two firefighters badly injured on Monday. As hundreds of thousands of residents injured a uh, second day of power shutoff meant to counter heightened fire risks from gusty dry weather that has hoped that the disaster will subside soon. This is all for tonight. This is my son and your reporter for you. I take my head off to Louis Hamilton, says Nico Rosberg. Nico Rosberg held Louis Hamilton record 92nd Formula 1 win and sporting launch VT as a great achievement on Tuesday but says the way the Britain was using his platform to raise awareness for global issues was just as important entering teams. One thing is is being at the level that he's at just a phenomenal driver but then to stick in there year in year up stay at the high level and be the guy to beat every year and still dominate that's just so hard says Nico Rosberg Assalamualaikum and good evening. Kota Kinabalu, six new COVID-19 quarantine center have opened in Sabah as the state detect ten new positive cases. The ten new cases bring the state total to one hundred eighty-two on Friday, March twenty-seven. Sabah Health Department Director Dr. Dr. Christina Rundi said the news cases are from Kota Kinabalu, two cases, Tawau, three, Kunak, two, Kodatan, two, and Booth. Observe social distancing as well as good height, 2,161. Confirm COVID-19 cases and a cumulative date total of 29. That's all for today. Thank you. Hi, Mikhail, and you are watching today's news. More than half of the states across the U.S. have reported the highest single day of new COVID-19 cases during the month of October 9th, according to John Hopkins University. WHO's Director General said Australia's Victoria State reported no news cases in the past 24 hours for the second by 27% for women as the amount of drug-related death in England and Wales have been reached as reached by the Office of National Statistics, Statistics showed the increase of male death was substantially lower and 8% but overall deaths involving cocaine rose for the eighth successive year. That's all news for today. I'm Mikhail from today's news.